Hello and welcome to a, another quick tutorial on automation with Planet Logistics. Uh, this is go this, this video is about my um, the simplest part of my auto crafter or mega crafter as I like to call it. Um, thanks, Joe, for that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the simplest part of this is a simple export and lovely mirror cell. Now this can be used for two different things. It can be used for things like keeping a certain amount of level of things. As you can see I've got a certain amount of level of a lot of things on here. But it can also be for getting rid of things like this. Now I have bees set making diamond shards and I want them to make diamonds but it's difficult to try and keep to make all of them into shards as they need them. But also I don't like to um, keep my crafting monitor always filled with them making them because it's very irritating um, so basically my little setup I've got here is I've got an export bus which makes crafts diamonds and you see it's set to craft uh, only and to redstone signal this is so that uh, it doesn't make it in a silly little loop or it doesn't come up with it in the crafting terminal over and over again because that's annoying again it's my pet hate that is having a full crafting terminal um, so yeah, so to make it so it's got a redstone signal when it needs to be, what I've got here is a level emitter with diamond shards. Now this can make it so after I've got 15 it will make, it will turn this on and craft diamonds and then as soon as it drops below 15, so as you see it's got 13, it turns off. Now you want to make sure this is to above or equal to, so then um, it doesn't work unless it's below that. Uh, but yeah, you can do this with pretty much anything, I've got it for tin here. Which I use my ore berries for. And there's several other things as well. Um, yeah, the next thing you can do is try and keep a certain level of something in it. Now, I got pretty much everything I use a lot of already set up, but um, I got these atomic, atomic cores now because I don't actually have these set up to have a, up, and now you need these for like digital miners and stuff like that, so I thought it might be quite useful to have some of these set up. No, I'm just going to go over to here. So, I think these are on their original settings. Yeah, they are. I just plopped them in. Uh, now I want to keep. Now we need to work out how many of these I want to keep in it. So I think I'm going to keep about 20 um, made up because they use the enriched alloys. But I already keep like 100 of those or something ready. So this is. Now I'm going to make this so it's um, below or equal to. So then when we, it drops below, it then sends the red, no, redstone signal to export bus. So we just need to set this to active with redstone signal and craft only. So if you put it to craft and stack, like m craft and move, then it will just keep going in a, a circle over and over and over and over around, round into into the ender chest and into the ME and then into the ender chest, and it's completely pointless and incredibly irritating. Um, so yeah, now here we go. And also, I like to keep them on here. Um, just so you can see how many, and make sure it's working, make sure it's not gone a bit crazy. So now it's gone to 20, now it's stopped working, which is pretty cool, which is what we wanted. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the simplest uh, simplest thing you can do with this. So, yeah, super, super quick tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and adios!